Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome back uh, to Celebrating Act Two, and it's time to meet with one of our regular contributors. Bill Jordan, the man who invented Embrace the Boom. Bill, we embrace the boom with you. <laughs> we always, well, look back. You guys, we you always so embrace kind. the boom. Yay. You are so kind. You know what, yeah, guys? This is, just, this is just a little movement I've started to, to uh, empower and encourage and inspire baby boomers because there's too many people I know that are my age that seem to just be running out the clock or just bemoaning the fact that they're older or even in denial that they're older. And I just think there's more positive stuff to, to being where I am than than there isn't. God yeah, bless you, Bill. Just to, uh, quickly, uh, I, I have a, a question I want to ask, but as long as you're involved in this shameless plug, where can they get such a mug? Or are, <laughs> was that, are, are these the only three that exist in the world? <laughs> no, there's some more out there. Where? Uh, well, you can go to my Shopify site, and that is Bill Jordan. Jordan spelled with an A, like again, like my cousin Michael. Bill Jordan, embrace the boom.com, and the mugs are there. They're 20 bucks a piece. Uh, free shipping after an order of three. So sometimes people in a family or an office want to get together and become part of the movement of Embrace the Boom. And uh, also on that website are links to my YouTube videos covering 15 practices that I have adopted that I certainly have not perfected, that I will never perfect. But when I follow these practices, I know for a fact that I have a better, calmer, more satisfying life. You know Bill, what, this, this shameless plug turns into a soliloquy that Shakespeare would have been proud of. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be to a boomer, that's what I To say. embrace or not to embrace. So That here, is the boom. Here's, here's what I thought I'd, I'd uh, th throw out on the table. Uh, because we have a young young one with us, is that at Celebrating Act Two, we're the user manual for the second half of your life. And so, John, you and I are pretty worldly. We know what's going on. Oh, but, yeah. But the boom embracer himself, Bill Jordan, okay, he's sort of newer at this midlife kind of stuff. So uh, I think it would be kind of fun to have his perspective on when you turn 65, what do you know now that you didn't know before or you didn't think you'd ever know? What do you, what well, about that, Bill? You know, just saying that, if you guys are probably familiar with the Bob Seger song, Against the Wind. Yeah, yeah. And in it, he's got one of the greatest lines of all time. I wish I didn't know now what I didn't know then. <laughs> and, and, and this is the reverse. I wish I did know then what I do know now. So... When I was 50, I think I wish I had known or uh, accepted the fact that, you know, that, that old cliche of save for a rainy day, because it is going to rain. I, I will promise you that it is going to rain. I wish that I had really um, gotten on board with where I had worked. And, and they, were so, they were so good with like 401ks and matching and all that stuff but I wish I had maximized my contribution to my 401k yeah. from a financial standpoint. I mean, I'm still standing. I've been out of a full-time job for seven years, almost seven years now, uh, and I'm still standing, but I would have been, been standing a little taller <laughs> if I had maximized my 401k, I think. You're not um, alone. You're not alone. That's I, no. In fact, I think most, whether you're baby boomer or not, most retirees have uh, nowhere near what they would like to have to, right. to continue living the lifestyle. Right. Yeah, and all, and, the, it, and all the money that we pissed away, quite frankly, on yes. so many things, we could think back and say, you know, that could have been an extra like five or ten thousand dollars a year that we could have put into retirement, or a couple thousand dollars here and there that we could have thrown into fun, and it would have really risen. So you, you're quite That's right. Correct. Yeah. I mean, every time, every time I carry out a bag of clothes that my wife is donating to Goodwill or something, I look at that bag, it feels like it weighs 25 pounds, and in my mind I'm going, this used to be money. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. This used yeah. to be money. So, not to make it all about that, I mean, I think another thing too, when I was 50, and I didn't think I was doing so, but I know that I took a lot of relationships for granted when I was 50, and now at 65, and having lost some more friends and family members, 
uh, or those who have uh, fallen in, in, in bad health. I, I do think that I appreciate the relationships in my life a little bit more, and I wish I had uh, gotten on board with that or realized that when I was 50, but I was busy chasing the dream when I was 50. I was, I was wrapped up in work. That was, I don't want to say top priority in my life, but that was a major chunk of my day was my career. And John, uh, what about you? Uh, things that you wish you had known? Uh, I have a couple, but what about you? I think for me, it's probably time. Uh, you don't realize how time really, fa how fast time moves. You know, when you're, uh, I I'll take a, when you're a child, when you're a child, summers go forever, mm. right? They last, I mean, you just, it's never going to end. When you're our age, summer's gone in the blink of an eye. And, um, and more importantly, speaking to what Bill said, relationships. So you have a relationship with somebody or you don't have a relationship, or even more importantly, you haven't, you haven't, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 renewed a relationship or, um, I'm thinking of forgiveness. You know, let's say you have a bad relationship with somebody. You haven't owned up to the problem. You haven't said, I'm sorry. And boy, the years go by very quickly. And before you know it, it's too late. You get to be our age, people die. It's too late to say, I'm sorry. It's too late to make amends. Uh, so for me, I think it's timing. It's the fact that uh, the years go by very, very quickly and you don't realize it. You know, if I may add, uh... In addition to that, you know, you didn't make amends or you didn't say, I'm sorry. There's also accepting the apology that you never got uh, as, as far as forgiveness goes. Forgiveness yes. being a gift that we give ourselves, not for them, but we just need to, there are some situations and people in our lives that maybe we just go, hey, you know what? I'm human too, and, I, and I've needed forgiveness. So to give that, it, it is, a, it is a, a weight off your shoulders. If you can get to that point and learn to forgive uh, and accept the apology, that you never got. Wow. Yeah, that's really important because, and you're right, forgiveness is more important for the person who's been hurt uh, right. so they can let go of that hurt. Exactly. And people don't think about that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, getting back to uh, something you were saying earlier, uh, Bill, about uh, planning, I wish that I had understood more about what Medicare was all about and when to take Social Security and things like that. And I found that when I was getting closer to doing that, there was nobody to give me any advice. I think there's a lot more, even on commercials now, where people, uh, they say, uh, well, you know, the importance of a Medicare supplement is because uh, Medicare only pays 80%. Uh, but I didn't know that there was like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like the alphabet yeah. all over again. <laughs> it's confusing. Okay. And I find out that most of the questions I get as people are coming up into those kinds of things are, gee, Art, You've got Med Medicare. Uh, what's the story? They, most people don't realize they're really going to pay for it. They have to pay, you know, a hundred and change a month. It's out of the Social Security. And when to take Social Security? I have a cousin who waited till he was seventy and a half, and even though I made money, more money than him, all my life, he's going to get about a thousand dollars a month more than me because he waited an extra six or seven years. So yeah. those are the kind of things that uh, I wish I had known earlier. Uh, in addition to, uh, I think the, even the more serious stuff about uh, uh, embracing your, uh, forget about the boom, your friends uh, and, and uh, acquaintances now, because you may not be able to do that uh, uh, before time runs out. Relationships yes. or relationships, while maybe not everything, I, I have come to learn that they are truly the most important things in our lives. I, I truly believe that the people around us, the team that we build around us, and the team that we are a part of for others as well. You know, I, I think that the uh, it's something about the baby boom generation, uh, because there are so many of us, we're the largest bubbles, you know, in history so far, although I, I would imagine millennials or somebody's going to be big, right. a bigger bubble eventually. But because there are so many of us, and we're living so long, and we're still healthy, I don't know about you guys, but I've long outlived uh, the age where my both my parents died. Um, so because of that, there's more of us and we share more, we talk more. Um, and quite frankly, I think, uh, to your point, Art, the government has has to service us more. You know, the, we're worth more votes to everybody. Right. <laughs> so they do more for us, you know. We're a, we're a bigger uh, voting block or whatever it is. But 
but I think it's got to do with the fact that there are so many baby boomers and we're still around, we're still active. And all of this um, sh sharing with each other, sharing information, getting services, whether it's from the government or elsewhere. Uh, boy, all the commercials I see on TV are for, <laughs> for drugs. Yeah, and given, the side, and given the side effects of the drugs, who wants them? <laughs> yeah, it'll it'll cure your gout, but your arms might fall well, off. Yeah, well, yeah one, one of the things that we've all learned is that most of us, our grandparents and our parents, died when they were young, so they didn't get all these diseases, <laughs> okay? And they couldn't have the happy talk of dancing down the street and saying, look, I don't have uh, stuff on my arms anymore. And, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my A1C, A1C, there are a lot of things in there. You know, there's an A, there's a one, and there's a C. But our parents didn't get those things because they never lived that long. So we're going to have right. a lot more of that. Uh, but uh, maybe a, almost as a closing thing, uh, Bill, because uh, you're in the prime, you represent people in the prime of uh, learning about all the kind of things. And some of them still have a lot more time to plan. What would be your final advice to anybody who uh, uh, doesn't want to re has a chance now to have fewer regrets as they continue to uh, enter their boom years? Well, again, I, you know, it's it's kind of what I said of what I wish I had known is, and that is save whatever you can save and invest it and find a good money person, have a relationship with that person. Don't necessarily listen to your friends on on that when it comes to something that you need a professional. Uh, about I think there are relationships in, in in everything I keep preaching to my daughter about you want to find a, a car mechanic that you trust you want to find a plumber that you can trust you want you, you want those relationships with people uh, but yeah I, I really wish that I had maximized my 401k if you're in a situation like that uh, if you put that money away and say first you won't notice it and you'll adjust uh, for that but that and Again, the, not only the relationships as far as people who performing services for you, uh, you know, again, plumbers and electricians and stuff, but your family and your close friends, because believe me, there is a last time for everything. There well, is. And, and that just, that, that just, again, the people that we have lost, uh, and you know, and it, it's not a down, it's not a downer thought. It really should make you uh, live your life and maximize our moments with each other and put the petty differences aside. And one other thing that I wish I had realized at 50 that I know now at 65, I wish I had known that one day my eyebrows and ear hair would be detrimental to my TV reception. <laughs> okay, you know? you know what? Why don't, why don't you give us one more shameless plug of your uh, 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 website address where people can get uh, an Embrace yes. the Boom uh, cup? Yeah, and, and you know uh, what, the thing the thing about this cup is in, in one it's a mug it's a 15 ounces of whatever you want to put in this thing it is sturdy and uh it's a well-made mug uh and it's and it's more it's more than a mug to me it is a way to start my day in a positive way resetting my mindset into the looking at the positives in my life i'm embracing where i am in life but you can check it out at Bill Jordan, embracetheboom.com. And again, not only is the mug there for sale and pick one up and pick one up, hey, it's a great birthday gift if you got a boomer on your list, um, but also the link to those 15 practices, the videos on my YouTube channel, and click around. I think you will find a nugget or two that you're gonna be really, really uh, able to use in a positive way and make your life even better than it is. By the way, Bill, I have to, uh, before I finally close out, I have to say, I was thinking when you were uh, uh, doing a little bit of uh, this, that the Elon Musk thing with the windows broke. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we, if I had smashed it, right, it's sturdy. Right, right, we had practice, but it doesn't, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, sturdy, you're right. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, especially in your boomer years, thank you, Bill, for uh, sharing, uh, you're always wonderful philosophies with us. And uh, Thank you. Uh, we, we embrace the boom. And we do. We, we, do. we embrace the boom. Yay. As well as celebrating your act too, which is really fascinating. Thanks for sharing that with us. And uh, yep. we look forward to speaking to you again soon on another topic of world importance. 
<laughs> Take care, Bill. Thanks. Thank you all. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.